Hey, good morning. It is Monday. How many of y'all ready for the week, man? I'm telling you, your expectations for the day and for the week will determine how you're going to be able to respond to whatever comes your way on today. We know life be life in, right? And it's not easy. And sometimes we can make it harder than it needs to be. We could be our worst critic, our worst enemy, right? Because of our lack of understanding. And why I say that is because in this scripture, I was blessed by this scripture, Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 10. Uh, my husband, he was talking about destined for greatness on Sunday. And this scripture hit me and I was like, dang, I don't even think I've ever heard this scripture. Y'all know y'all be passing through some stuff in the word when you be reading it. But you can, word, well, you can read it like a lot and then still, you know, miss some things and get it right when it when it's your time to get it because that's how God be working so it says in the scripture Ecclesiastes chapter 6 10 it says everything has already been decided it was known long ago what each person would be so there's no use arguing with God about your destiny <laughs> listen all I can do is laugh because all of us that are arguing with God right now stop those that are complaining stop God already has a destiny for you. God already has a plan for you. I mean, the thoughts that he thinks towards you alone, they are good. They are, they're holy, they're perfect. They're to give you hope. They're to give you a future and expected end. Those are just the thoughts. He has a plan for you. But in here, he says, everything's already been decided. He's a sovereign God. If he created us, don't you think he has a purpose for us? And if he's a good God, a loving God, don't you think he going to provide? Yes. So we got to stop arguing. We got to stop fighting with God and align ourselves with his will. Because listen, he said, the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. It's my favorite scripture. And if we got sorrow, then somewhere we're not accepting what God has given us. And we're allowing the world to change who we are and what we are called to do. Stop allowing the world to change who you are and be who God has aligned and designed you to be. Destined for greatness. That's what you are. God bless you. Love you. And it's Monday.